In this lecture, we deal with the transcritical bifurcation. In various cases, a fixed point must exist for all values of a parameter and can actually never be destroyed. However, as a parameter varies, a fixed point may actually change its stability. The transcritical bifurcation is the standard bifurcation for such a change in stability. The normal form for a transcritical bifurcation is x dot is equal to rx minus x squared. So let us see what happens to the vector field as r varies. So for r is less than 0, we plot x dot versus x. That's the graph of x dot versus x. And we have two fixed points. One is an unstable fixed point at x star is equal to r, and the other is a stable fixed point at x star is equal to 0. These are the two fixed points of the system. One is stable and the other is unstable. For r is equal to 0, That's the plot of x dot versus x. And we find that we have one fixed point in the system. Note that the unstable fixed point actually approaches the origin. For r greater than 0, we go ahead and plot x dot versus x again. And those are the two fixed points of the system. So we have an unstable fixed point at the origin and a stable fixed point at x star is equal to r. Note that there is a fixed point at x star is equal to 0 for all values of r. So if we look at the three diagrams together, we note that when r was less than 0, there were two fixed points, one stable, one unstable, and the origin was the stable fixed point. When r is equal to 0, the unstable fixed point approaches the origin, and we get a half-stable fixed point at the origin. And when an r is greater than 0, we again have two fixed points now, except that the origin is now an unstable fixed point. So if you just look at the origin, then the origin is first fully stable, then half stable, and then unstable. And all of this happens as the parameter r varies. Now let's look at the difference between a saddle node and a transcritical bifurcation. In a saddle node, as a parameter varies, fixed points are created and destroyed. In a transcritical bifurcation, the fixed points actually do not disappear after the bifurcation. They just switch their stability. Now let's plot the bifurcation diagram for the transcritical bifurcation. So we go ahead and plot x versus r and we highlight the stable branches and the dotted lines are the unstable branches. So the parameter r is actually regarded as the independent variable. Now let's go ahead and do a quick linear stability analysis for the dynamical system. So we have x dot is equal to rx minus x squared. And so the fixed points are x times r minus x is equal to 0, which gives us x star is equal to 0 and x star is equal to r. So now we wish to determine the stability. So f of x 
is equal to rx minus x squared. So f prime of x is equal to r minus 2x. So x star is equal to 0 gives us f prime of 0 is equal to r. And x star is equal to r gives us f prime of r is equal to minus r. So the origin is stable if r is less than 0 and unstable if r is greater than 0. And x star equal to r is stable if r is greater than 0 and unstable if r is less than 0. Let's consider an example. Show that the system x dot is equal to x times 1 minus x squared minus a times 1 minus e to the minus bx undergoes a transcritical bifurcation at x is equal to 0 when the parameters a, b satisfy a certain equation which is yet to be determined. Then find an approximate formula for the fixed point that bifurcates from x is equal to 0 assuming that the parameters are close to the bifurcation curve. First note that x is equal to 0 is a fixed point for all a, b. So it is possible that we can have a transcritical bifurcation as the fixed point cannot be destroyed. For small x, 1 minus e to the minus bx is equal to 1 minus the bracket 1 minus bx plus b squared x squared on 2 plus order x cubed terms which is equal to bx minus a half b squared x squared plus order x cubed terms. So x dot is equal to x minus a times bx minus a half b squared x squared plus order x cubed terms which is equal to 1 minus ab times x plus a half ab squared times x squared plus order x cubed terms. Thus the transcritical bifurcation occurs when ab is equal to 1. This is the equation for the bifurcation curve. The non-zero fixed point is given by 1 minus ab plus a half ab squared x is approximately equal to 0. So x star is equal to 2 times ab minus 1 divided by ab squared. Now we make a note. This is only correct if x star is small. So the formula holds only when ab is actually close to 1. Let's consider another example. Analyze the dynamics of x dot is equal to r ln x plus x minus 1 near x is equal to 1 and show that the system undergoes a transcritical bifurcation at a certain value of r. Then find new variables x and r such that the system reduces to the approximate normal form x dot is equal to rx minus x squared near the bifurcation. Note x is equal to 1 is a fixed point for all values of r 
and we are interested in the dynamics near this fixed point. So we introduce a new variable u is equal to x minus 1 where u is small. So we get u dot is equal to x dot which is equal to r ln 1 plus u plus u that's using the fact that u is equal to x minus 1 which is equal to r times u minus a half u squared plus order u cubed terms plus u and that is using the expansion of ln 1 plus u and that's approximately equal to r plus 1 times u minus a half r u squared plus order u cubed terms. So thus we find that we get a transcritical bifurcation at r critical is equal to minus 1. Now we need to put this equation into normal form. So we first want to remove the coefficient of u squared. So let u is equal to a v and we will choose a later. The equation in terms of v is v dot is equal to r plus 1 times v minus a half r a times v squared plus order v cubed terms. So with a is equal to 2 by r we get v dot is equal to r plus 1 times v minus v squared plus order v cubed terms. Letting capital R is equal to r plus 1 and capital X is equal to v we now are in a position to get the approximate normal form which is x dot is equal to rx minus x squared neglecting the order x cubed terms. So in terms of the original variables x is equal to v is equal to u by a which is equal to a half r x minus 1. In numerous cases of interest, what happens is that irrespective of what values a particular parameter takes, the fixed point that the system has will always remain and can never be destroyed. But what can happen is that as the parameter value changes, the stability of the fixed point itself can change. So a stable fixed point can become an unstable fixed point or an unstable fixed point can become a stable fixed point. And this can be fairly dangerous in real world situations where just because the parameter changes, the stability of the fixed point goes ahead and changes. The standard way in which this happens is through a transcritical bifurcation. And in this lecture, what we did was we introduced the transcritical bifurcation. We looked at its formal form. Uh, we looked at bifurcation diagrams. And we looked at a few examples where a transcritical bifurcation can actually take place. Note that this is different as compared to a saddle node, where when parameters change, fixed points can be created or can be destroyed. But the transcritical is where the fixed points will not be destroyed, but the stability of the fixed points can easily change.